Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in the car, I'm in my BMW E90 and I've discovered something on the internet that I'd like to show with everybody. It may not uh, be that uh, informative, but I thought it's something that's interesting and I'd like to share with you. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to insert a key, turn on the ignition, Once all your errors and everything have cleared, you're going to go ahead and hit the trip reset button. You hold that until all stages have passed. The triangle will pass and your service reset will pass. Once you pass your server reset, you'll enter the computer. You hit, one, this is the sub menus. You want to go through the main menus until you get to number 19. You'll see it says lock. That means that the cluster is locked. You just cycle through until you get to main menu number one. Main menu number one, you will see it has these digits right there. What is this is your vehicle identity number? I think so. But what I do know is you must add up all of these numbers to get your unlock code. So you can press and hold for three seconds and it'll come out, it'll get back to the main menu. You have to be fast with this. Okay, the other option, this is a KI test. What this means is your instrument cluster test. You press the button, it'll do a test on all your lights and all of the gauges functions to make sure everything is working in order. You press and hold for three seconds, you get out of this menu and you get into the main menu. Now, to unlock the cluster, you go to menu 19 like I've said before. Okay, let's see if I get it right now. One, two, three, up. This vehicle code specifically is 18, yours will be different. So you just, press, you just let it go and that's it. Now, the various functions. Number 7, menu number 7.0, that is your coolant temperature. That's, some, that's basically a, a vehicle heat gauge, which, does not, which is not included on the E90. So that's a very cool feature to work with. Then, the, the one that I use more, mostly, is number 9. Number 9 is the digital voltmeter. With this function active, you can start the vehicle, it will be fine. Notice I've pressed, I've just pressed the brake pedal and it dropped voltage, which is absolutely normal. That means the vehicle is using power. So let's see. I do know that this vehicle has a bit of an alternator issue. So it may or may not increase the voltage once the vehicle starts. So let's just go ahead and try. Now with the engine running, the vehicle is charging at 11.7. Now I know that's not right and this vehicle will need to go in to have that sorted out but the thing is as you drive this will this clears on its own i'm not sure how but it works so i'm not going to question that another function okay let's you exit now you have to sc uh, scroll through again you notice as i went past it said lock off that means the the cluster is unlocked Number 8 is a digital speedo. It reads in kilometers an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vehicle out from park into drive and I'm just going to let the vehicle go. You notice it does work. I'm going to reverse. It works in reverse as well. Okay. What else can you do with this? You can go. We can try menu number seven point three. You let go to seven. You type it. You go into seven point three. You notice it's reading about eight hundred. Focus. It's number eight hundred. 
what this is the digital rev counter a digital tech watch this so not useful in most cases but it works and it's something that's really cool okay let's try number seven again number just plain seven you just let it go now you notice that the coolant temperature is rising to now 45 degrees before it was 39 now it's 45 if i give it just let it on a higher idle okay that means that the, you see it gone up to 46 the engine is getting warmer and everything is getting up to temperature there's also a function, I think it's number 5, where you can actually see how much of fuel is in your tank. I think this is fuel consumption for days. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link all of the, I'm going to link the site of where I found all of the information into the description down below. That way you can see whatever you you can have a look and see exactly what you want to number six is the amount of fuel in the tank i think on the left will be your left hand side r means your right so there's 11.4 and that's the sum i don't know how it's reading that but that's what it's supposed to mean and there's 11 liters of fuel in this tank And to exit, well basically to exit the menu, just press and hold the button for 10 seconds, as I'm doing now. And you're out of the system. Then we can, you can just switch off the vehicle and everything should be fine. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative. If you did find it informative, just give it a thumbs up. Also do consider to subscribe to my channel. It'll really mean a lot to me if you do. Uh, leave a comment if you need if you have any questions. I'll leave a link to all of the information down in the description below. And I'll catch you in the next one. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Thanks.